Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John the Suspenia TrueNet, and welcome to Last Will, a puzzle game, kind of, that the Steam page repeatedly and insistently refers to as a reverse escape room game. Now, I personally would have thought like a reverse escape room game, like, you know, I'd have gone for the word infiltration myself, and then I started thinking, a reverse escape room? Well, lots of games could be a reverse escape room, because any game where you start on the outside, and you're trying to find ways through locked doors to get further into a building, is a reverse escape room. I mean, by that logic, the original Resident Evil, like every Resident Evil, pretty much, is a reverse escape room. In fact, pretty much every game ever is a reverse escape room by that logic. But yes, never mind, let's play Last Will. So here we are in the lobby of a big old house, and yes, the setup is basically, I have an eccentric old grandfather, uncle, something like that, he's dead, and I've inherited the house, but the lawyer doesn't have the deed, the deed is locked within the house, so I have to like, prove myself worthy by finding my way to the deed or whatever within the actual time limit. So episode one here, the long hard road home, Five doors, 64 minutes, no loading or saving. So you've basically just got to solve these things against a ticking clock. So I've no idea what the sort of puzzles are. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen here then. And here I am inside this place. Move around with we're sad, look around with mouse. Can't imagine there's much controls. Like I've been told there's basically no action in this whole area. There's a door here. Presumably this is, yeah, that's just the way out. Fine, okay, really hope this is a note that starts me off at least. So, dear Mr. Gladsbury, condolences on the loss of your grandfather as realtor of the estate and a notary of Sir Edmund Gladsbury's will. It's my duty to welcome you to the yes, I know about this. And one clock that is probably ticking down to me failing. Got it. One globe. Ooh, I can spin that if I wanted to. Fine, so I can spin a globe around if I need to. Uh, right. I was kind of hoping for some form of clue to kick me off here. It said five doors. So I'm going to have to find a door as a starting point. Is this mysterious glowing clock going to tell me something? Ah, the mysterious glowing clock is presumably ticking down. Though actually, apparently I can grab and drag the chair and that opens up a thing. Right, so a bit of an error behind the chair here, but nothing in there but books. But remember that's there because that could be useful later. The fact that that can be moved and grabbed and whatever. Some roses in a glass, surprisingly fresh, all things considered. Right. Where's door number one? Because it said five doors, so I've got to find a door. Press space to access your notebook. A portrait of my grandfather doesn't like a person. I would miss that much. Wow, that's just charming. The man's flipping giving you his house, assuming you can get to the centre of it, which may or may not be haunted, who knows. And this is your notebook. Clues and riddles will be gathered in here for easy storage. So run with nothing in there but the letter, but there was nothing there we needed to know. Got it. And this will presumably be... Locked. So, how exactly do we get through here? So, potentially, I've got to find my way through this here door. Just check that we don't have to just turn that on. May as well have the lights on. Apparently, this style of light is just turned on like, you know, rather than at a switch, it's just turned on like this. What if I was to turn on all of the lights? That feels like that can't be right. Oh, hello. Uh, washroom, woman in a dress, a person being... Are you just spraying a person while they're already in the shower with a hose? That just feels unnecessary, that they're already getting wet. Right, I probably need to do this because I'm on a flipping time limit here. Wait, hang on. How'd you get up to there? There's a balcony up there, but as far as I can tell, no way to get up. Well, possibly. Ah, staircase right here. All right, fine. Let's head up here. I've got to find myself. Windows, nothing there. Just got to find myself a way to... Painting titled The Throne. Let's just hit all the lights while we're going by. Painting titled The Throne. Aha! Here we are. Sturdy as an iron branch, yet fits in your hand. A safeguard I can promise, and freedom on demand. Sturdy as an iron branch, fits in your hands. A sword? A sword like a weapon that guarantees your freedom? Fits in your hand. Safeguard I can promise, and freedom on demand. Okay, no title and no signature. Up here, right, I need to find more notes. Ominous painting titled The Lady. That's a creepy lady, I will admit. I've no idea what this is supposed to look like. Right. Uh, so that's back down to the other side of the hall. And I need to find a sword. A fits in your hand, 39 branch. A poker? Like a fire poker? Hello. Three statues, three riddles, three words. I set them together to make sure that everything you see and touch is connected. You must understand I wish for you to succeed. Even the dead can be disappointed. Everything you need is in this room. Everything you will need will be in every room. Right, okay. Three statues, 
three riddles, three words. So nothing else here. So the riddle, okay, this was marked as riddle number two, but there's no statue nearby to here, unless the statue, there's like a statue of a throne somewhere, but that doesn't feel right. But yeah, I need to find the three riddles that meet the criteria. I might need to open up some of these. Aha! Right, I need to open up these and find myself some more bits and pieces. Right. No, there's a bunch of markings here, but I can't interact with them. In the middle, in the middle, in the middle, on the far left, and then something back here. But that doesn't do anything. Ah! Hello. Was that... No, that was not blood on the front of that. I thought it might be blood. One comfy chair, one... Ah! Hello. No to the back here. Wait, hang on. Turn the light on. Let's not strain my eyes here. Welcome, child. Welcome to my mansion. Now, no doubt you are here looking for your inheritance. I have other plans for you. Having observed the rotten roots of my family tree as I grew close to old age, I realised that none of you deserve a single penny from me, and I don't believe death is enough reason for me to suddenly change my attitude. That's why I've remade this place as a test, filling the halls with riddles and puzzles. Got it. Okay. The professor. He identifies himself as the professor. And then a mysterious thing. And the professor doesn't seem like the guy that enjoys Christmas. What is going on here? I need to... Okay. Crack open everything one by one. There's got to be more stuff here. Aha! Here we are. Eight strokes of the bell. Eight minutes in hell. Each line for the hand. Eight minutes demand. Okay. Each line for the hand, so there's there's four lines in this poem. Four times eight is 32. Um, does that mean that he wants me to do something with this clock? But there was a clock over here. What if I was to do something with this clock and set it to 32? Now that's just telling me, okay, that's just time ticking down. Right, uh, and I can't see another clock in here. I've got five doors to get through. I haven't even got through the first one yet. Now there's a... Oh, hello. Ah. This is intriguing. We've got a statue here and a thing on the wall. Okay. And this is... That's not the... Is that the no, that's not the full alphabet. That's just a bunch of various... Yeah, okay. Right. Well, we've got another riddle here, at least. One. Weight in my belly, trees on my back, nails in my ribs, feet do I lack. Weight in my belly, trees on my back. Uh, not many things have trees growing out of them. The ground pots. Nails in my ribs, feet do I lack. Put on the light. The light will help me think. I'm not good at riddles. I shouldn't have played this game. Weight in my belly, trees on my back, nails in my ribs, feet I do lack. Doesn't have feet, has nails in the ribs, trees on the back. I know everything I need is supposed to be in this room. So logically, if I just kind of crack everything open and just have a little looksy round here, I should be able to find things that sort of match. Old military helmet. Leave leave that for now. Okay, just keep cracking open all the things. Aha. Okay, right. One plus two plus three. For this room, you will need these. Huskus ipsa key. Okay, right. Well, I'm glad I've got a diary to solve those. I wonder if I could enter any of those codes next to the statue. Because potentially if I could, that might help. And then we've got... Ah, around here... We've got an old picture of my father before he disappeared. Oh, we've got more flipping family mysteries here. Of use to no one, yet absolute bliss to two. Okay, so, okay, so, of no use to one, sorry. Yet absolute bliss to two. Small boy gets it for nothing. The young man would lie for it. The old man might die for it. Love? Love, possibly? Of use to no one, there's... Big old pot here, mysterious statue here, and then we've got another one of these. Um, could I potentially actually? Can I? Can I spell out love here? No, no, I can't because there's no, there's no L. Right, because I think I need to enter the solution right here. 
Yeah, I've got the three. That's fine. So now I've got the three things. And it's saying I've got everything I need in here. But I'll admit... Also, actually, I don't know where I entered the... Where do I enter the third... The third code? Because there's the two statues. Fine. And I've cracked all of that stuff open. Uh, but where do... Yeah, where's the third... Statue. Also, I'm nearly out of a quarter of my time. This isn't going well. Is it possible that when it says everything you need is in this room, it means literally? Like, for example, there's a rose here, a rose in a glass. Does that mean it's possible that, say, rose would be the solution to one of the puzzles? Also, hang on, there's something up here. Oh, flip. Why is number three right here? The baby's right, the lover's privilege, the hypocrite's mask... The young girl, Faith. The married woman, Hope. The old maid, Charity. The lover's privilege. The hypocrite's mask. The young girl, Faith. To the married woman, Hope. The old maid, Charity. Oh, this game is far too clever for me. Ah, here it is. Okay, I found a thing over here. So, over here, there is indeed, yes, one place to enter more stuff over here. And... Wait, where does the... Where do the codes fit into this? Because there was there was a bunch of uh, codes. The... What was it? The... Not the hints. The... Where is it? Yeah, here we are. For this room, you'll need these. What does that mean? Is that a cipher? Let's just find if any of these... Let's see if this one can begin. H, I, or K. Because if it can, there's a K there. Uh... Okay, it's just a K. So if that's a K right there, let's just see if it can spell out the whole key thing. Because if it can, no, it can't. Fine. Hello? These symbols again. What does that mean? No, 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 no. Don't, don't say it just looks comfy. There's that symbol. Far right, second from the left, second from the left, far right. What does that mean? Because there's something here as well. That's the... No, it wasn't here. It was here. What do those mean? What do those refer to? I don't know. I've literally run out of time for the first quarter of an hour. I haven't managed to make it anyway. Also, I never opened this top drawer. Right, there was nothing in that top drawer. That's good. Okay, what do these refer to? There's got to be something that these are referring to. And there's... They're indicating five. And over here, same deal. Sorry, not here. Over here. Again, indicating five. There's got to be something, and there's... Does that supposed to indicate picture? Something to do with pictures. Okay. Far right, second from the left, second from the left, far right. I've got to find uh, something where there's five. Something where there's five of something in this room. Up there, there's three portraits. Uh, one and three, so that doesn't work. What if I was going upstairs? Go faster! We're on a flipping time limit here. There's... what is there up here? There's... four. There's four here, unless that over there is supposed to be the fifth. Could that be supposed to be the fifth? These, these even have... Uh, these, these have... this one didn't even have a name. Wait, hang on. Yes, it does. Steep. Hang on, have these got, all got... these have all got words. Kais, oh, for flipping right. Okay. And then thief, but spelt wrong, and lakes. Okay, so there's words written underneath these portraits. And is there a word written underneath his portrait as well? No, there's not. So that's only four portraits up there, not five. But I, if, you, yeah, if you were standing in there, you would at least be able to... To see through to the the fifth, so, and that's 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 a so far. Wait, hang on. If there's four, that could simply oh oh, oh oh. There may only be four paintings. It doesn't matter about that one because there's four paintings, but each word of the paintings has five letters. So yeah, if I'm standing in front of the paintings upstairs, the fifth, the second, the second, and the fifth. Might give me something. Okay, now we've got something. Right, back upstairs. So, here we go. Up here. So, ship. Ship, 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 ship. Okay, so the sofa is telling me a ship. And there's 
a ship wheel right here, but it doesn't do anything as far as I'm aware. Okay, a small boy doesn't get a ship for nothing, no. Way to my belly, trees my back, and nails in my ribs, feet do I lack. A ship carries a cargo and has a wooden mast and has nails in its ribs. Number one, okay. Right, uh, number one. Uh, were you number one? I think you might have been number one. Can you be a ship? Yes. Oh, nice. Okay, number one. Clue number one solved. So I could have just solved the riddle straight up, but if I can't, there's hidden stuff to help me solve it. So in this case, I now know it is three, 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 one. Right, so if you're willing to search around the room, you can find stuff. So if you can just solve the riddles, you can do it really fast. But if you can't, then, because you're an idiot like me, then you can find other hidden ways around the room. Right, so K E Y. S. Keys. Okay, keys is the solution to at least one of the puzzles then. Uh, not you. Stairs and iron branch, it fits in your hand to save, I can promise, and freedom. Freedom on demand. Keys. Keys for a lock. Right, number two. Fine. Uh, so, yes, I could have solved that for myself. Wait, have I already seen that one down there? Uh, yes, I absolutely have. Fine. Uh, so, over here, we've got, yes, this will be keys then. Slight problem, though, which is... Oh, please, what? No, no, no! Oh, dear. Okay, there's no Y. That's that's a problem. Well, that's like, it's, it's supposed to be this one over here I'm entering keys into. Possibly it is. Oh, possibly it's this one I'm supposed to be entering keys into. Keys? I've just entered keys. I feel like that should be right, but it hasn't just given me the big clicky noise to indicate, yes, that was correct. Unless it literally wants me to put keys here, right? Oh, hello, and I found another thing over here. Good, there was a thing over here or there. So, uh, three, four, four, one. Yep, three, four, four, one. Right, back upstairs. K-I-S-S, a kiss. Ah, okay, right, okay, yeah, and that makes sense for the, uh, small boy based on a thing, young man would lie for it, uh, old man might die for it. I kind of was close, I got love, I'd say love is pretty bloody close, all things considered, except for a small problem, which is kiss doesn't actually go on any of these sliders. None of the, the word entry things are allowed to have... Kiss. So this one doesn't move anymore because it's correct. But I now know the other two are keys and kiss. But I can put I can put uh, I can put keys here. I can't put kiss here because there's no S there. I could put keys here. But if I do, no, not there. Oh! Okay, now it's decided it's happy. Maybe I just got it wrong before. Right, so that one's keys. So this one must be kiss. But the problem is, there's... Ah! Wait, why did that... I swear I tried to enter that before and it didn't work. Maybe I just don't understand the alphabet. So I've got five doors to get through and I've burnt nearly half my time. Which means in the next room I need to actually solve the riddles. Because otherwise, yeah, I'm pretty screwed. And now I've just got a flipping haunted house that opens itself up. Lovely. Act 2, The Guest Wing. And here we are. I can turn things on and off if I want. This is very dusty here. Right. Starting the lights. What have we got going on here? We've got... Are all these identical? These are... I think those are all identical. Fine. House. Light. The light. The pattern on the lights. I've got anything to do with... No, that doesn't seem to have anything to do with it. Do they... Okay. Whether they're in light or dark, they don't seem to change. I need to find... Some stuff here. Okay, that's the door that's locked. Fine. So, nothing up there. Time to find myself some riddles in here in particular. What is... Ah! Okay. Pattern there. Don't know what that refers to yet. Uh, Gotta find myself a bottle of absinthe. Okay, and... Oh! I've now just got that in my inventory. Fine. Hear the midnight strokes of the bell, stay a while or just for a spell, for the doors will not open till your pockets are empty and my things returned as well. 
Okay, so my pockets have got to be empty. So in other words, the stuff I've got in my inventory I've got to get rid of. Hear the midnight strokes of the bell, stay a while or just for a spell. Why is spell capitalised? Okay, intriguing. Right, just open up things. Just start cracking everything open. Crack on the lights. There's that picture of a throne again. Ah! Number six, that's Roman numerals, that pattern. Number seven, the pattern, but a different pattern. Okay, a heavy silver nugget. I've also got that in my inventory. A rose. I've got that in my inventory. And I presumably have to find the right way to put these down. I'm guessing what I'm doing right now is I'm picking up a load of items. A classic lighter. And a small canister of petroleum. I assume I'm picking these items up and I'm probably putting them down here. Right? Ah! Yes. I'm picking the order which to put things down. So I've got to find all these items and then figure out what the correct order to place them is. But right now I don't know. Is that an item down there, by the way? No, that's not. And that's just a clock telling me, hey, you're an idiot and you're running out of time. Which is which is true. That's very true. Right, crack open all of the doors because I need to know what the heck's going on here. Uh, nothing in there. Okay, now, as soon as I've got all the items, I'll have a look-see at all of those patterns, and oh, that one's red. That one is red and rather than black. Why is it red rather than black, and why has it got the basically the same mattress texture as Fallout 4? That's rather weird. Right, teapot. Fine, grab that. Hit the light, no drawers. Uh, quickly open up everything. And I've got to find the things. What does that mean? Three, oh, three, wait, three and seven. But there was seven in the other room as well. Three and seven, but there was already a seven. And there's four and eight. Okay, also that's an unusual way to write eight. I-I-X, that's a really weird way to write eight. Normally you'd write eight as V-I-I-I. -I -I. And then you'd only go up to IX for, for 9. So that's odd. Right, there's a big overgrown plant here. A frame. More here that's... Four! There was a four in the other room. What is... I'm really lost. Right, the guest room. Turn this on. Give me a note here. No, I want the note, thank you. I fed the red to the shapes before me, for the red trailed turned night to day and day to night. Well, the, the dusk? The dusk and the dawn? Because the dusk and the dawn signify the changing of day to night, and both of those are red. What I saw, I wrote until all stood clear again. Well, day and night could both be seen as clear. This could be a reference to... Three... Ah, here's one. Okay, so what is this supposed to... to indicate? Are all of them the same, by the way? That's a three by five grid. A 3x5 grid and a 3x5 grid. In this case, how many not white squares are there? There are six there. Then it's down to three and then it's up to four. Right, okay, never mind. Don't worry about that for now. Just keep looking for the items. There's probably more items because I think I've got all of them. Yeah, I think I'm still shy one. And final draw. No. Where's the final? Unless it's this plant pot over here. No, no, it's not. So in which case... Okay, so I've seen all the rooms. This is literally all there is now. So I've now only got a teapot. So I need to find... I'm, I'm down two items. I need to find two items. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, is it something to do with the, the number of portraits in this room? How many portraits are there in this room? There's that, and then there's two empty frames. There's either one or three... Then there's another, so we're up to either two or six, depending on whether you count empties or not. And then we've got uh, five or nine. So if it is nine, how many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it doesn't match up to the number of paintings either with or without frames. Uh, but, ah, wait, hang on. The... These count up to eight, don't they? Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, so each of the clues on the wall is corresponding to a place on the table. So one over here is... What does that mean? 
Ah, but here's something of equal importance. Red, one and five up here. So on one and five, it's marked only as the top... Yeah, only the top middle one is marked in red. So what's on the top middle one in one? That's marked as white. Now, does that mean there's not supposed to be anything in number one because there aren't enough items? But in number two, however... Okay, hang on. Now I need to go and find the one in red that's marked as number two. So number two... Everything on the left, and then the first two on the right. So back over here, everything on the left, first two on the right. So that's all whites. So that might also mean nothing's supposed to go on that spot. Back in here, find number three. Uh, where's number three? Here we are. So, oh, flip. Right, so big Tetris block in the middle, and then top, middle, and bottom... Right, so if I were to put those two things together, what would be left in three? Because it feels like none of them match together would just be you two and you two. Is that supposed to be a drawing of something or an indication of something? Okay, let's just have a look at the items here. So, old silver tea kettle. So the game's considering this to be a kettle. Absinthe. So... It's capitalising certain things. It's capitalising them. Okay. Classic looking... Oh, it's not capitalising that. That's a shame. Though it is clearly indicating... Okay, hang on. I need to go and get a pen here. How much time do I have left? Not much. Okay, I've got paper here. So, a rose begins with an R. Classic looking lighter. I'm guessing that's just an L. The... Yeah, petroleum. It's capitalising things. It must be trying to tell me something. Uh, silver. S... The absinthe, A, and the old silver tea kettle. I would have called it a teapot, but it's saying it's a kettle, so I'm going to say it's a kettle. So, R-L-P-S-A-K. I feel like it's trying to tell me something there. I've got those written down in front of me at this point. Okay, one with the red. Just imagine that that was filled out. If that was filled out, that could be an S. That could be an S. Number one could theoretically be an S, and I've got an S. I do have an S, because the S I've got is the, okay, the silver, the silver nugget. Okay, okay, now, now we're starting to get somewhere. Now we're thinking with portals. Okay, hang on. This might be what I need to be figuring out here. Right, so two, two back to the red here. So all the way down the left and two down the right because they never coincide. So over here to two, all the way down the left, two down the right. That would, that would form a P. Okay, hang on. And we've got a P because we've got petroleum. So we've got the petroleum item here. So now we've got S and P. Yes, I know I've only got 20 flipping minutes left. I'm working on it. Um, okay, right. Now we've got something. I feel like I probably could, again, could have solved this with the riddle, but I, I can't because I'm, I'm too stupid for that. Uh, so three. Is that an item? That was an item. Good. A dark crystal ball. Probably keep that because I need those items yet because I'm still one flipping item down. Um, so hang on. So three with the Tetris shape. That and there. That's an E. I don't have an E. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, well, I, I need an E, apparently. Um, Because that's, that's crystal. And there's no way any of those can be an E. So I need to find an item that's an E as a project. Okay, there was one on the windowsill right there. I, I must need to find something that begins with an E. Possibly there's something in one of these pots. The plant pops. Come on. I, I need to find this item. And... Balls, this isn't good. I cannot, for the life of me, find this other item. So... Okay, never mind. Don't worry about that for now. Let's just get the other ones all laid out. We'll be able to figure out the word. And then maybe if I know the word, I'll be able to figure out, like, the, the item. Uh, so now I need uh, four. So three and one at the bottom. So three and one on the bottom. Four was was four in here? Or was four somewhere else? Four is... Yeah, four is in here. So three there and one on the bottom. So that's a C. Okay, so I need a C... Wait. 
Do I have a C? Yes, I've got the crystal. Right, so crystal needs to go... Uh, crystal can't go there. Hang on, hang on. Just, just take the rose. Right, rose goes over here for a second. So I've used up the spec. That only leaves me with R, L, A, K, unless I've misunderstood what one of these letters is. But at that point, now I know it's an eight-letter word beginning spec... No, there's no flipping actual riddle that I've found here. I literally just need to figure out the word. Fine, all right, fine. I'll just go around here, and hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to solve the riddle this way. So, hang on, where's number? I need five, five. Where's five? There it is. Okay, so five is just a single speck at the top again. So, that's a T. Oh, so it was a teapot, not a kettle. Six, meanwhile, is simple. Yeah, the straight down, and then the... Two, so the six gives me straight down, then the two, and that gives me a. What is that? Is that an R? That's supposed to be, okay. That's supposed to, yeah. That must be that must be an R on the thing, which is fine. I've got an R. I just need to grab the rows. So T R A L spectral. Right, yes, yeah, spectral. Um, S P E C T R A L. So spectral, which is fine because I'm kind of laying them on these things. Why do I get the feeling a spooky thing's going to happen the moment I lay down the thing? But I've got a bigger problem right now, which is I need to find something that begins with a flipping E. <laughs> I honestly don't know where it is. What begins with an E round here? That I haven't seen. It's not it's not plants. I can't see anything in any of these plants at the end here. I just I generally need to find if I can just find something that begins with an E, I've done it. But I don't know where to get the E. How long have I got left? Uh that is presumably well, actually, it was counting down from there, so probably less than 50 minutes, because all it means is like less than a quarter of my time remaining. Come on, where are you? Thing beginning with E. I feel like I may have slightly run out of time here, and sadly, I think I'm going to have to admit defeat on this one. I have literally no idea what the game is wanting me to do. I've been, like, around, I've even been, like, looking inside the flipping lampshades on the off chance that something's in there, but I cannot see an eighth item. Unless I've just missed something, where it's like the, the lights being on or off or something. But I'm pretty sure I just need to find an eighth item. And what about the feeling in this terrifying, creepy house? The moment that thing actually runs out of time, I'm going to be... And I've been probably killed. Who knows? So yes, when my grandfather said that we didn't deserve a penny of his money and he hated us, he wasn't kidding. Because basically he said to lock his grandson inside the house. And if his grandson couldn't solve a series of riddles in that time, then unfortunately he would be literally burnt to death with the rest of the house. Lovely. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Last Will. A game vastly cleverer than me because I couldn't solve its riddle, so I needed to go for the much slower piece them together from the letter strategy. Yeah, if you can solve the riddles, you can actually get through it at a decent clip which is probably much, much better. As I understand it, this is like partially procedurally generated, so there's loads of like randomly generated rooms, so you won't see the same puzzles or rooms as I did. So yes, indeed, I've just restarted here, and now we've got this guy over here, and he wasn't here last time, and I've got, yes, indeed, I've got a brand new riddle. Alive without breath, as cold as death, never thirsty, ever drinking, clad in mail, never clinking. Some sort of man-made metal device that just keeps absorbing water, except it has to have four letters, and I don't know, I'm not good enough at riddles. Basically, what we've determined here is, oh, and there's not roses here anymore, now there's just sticky licorice bites. Okay, that, that wasn't there. Oh, hang on, was the old man expecting visitors or beta testers? Marvellous. Uh, so yes, indeed, uh, the game kind of randomly generates itself a little bit each time. What if the, let's check if the paintings are the same or not as well. Maybe the paintings are a bit different. Okay, so the paintings are 
the same, but the words underneath them are different. So yeah, this kind of, apparently there's like loads of different riddles that could spawn in, so you won't even get the same experience as me, and possibly you won't get the same next room, so as a standard, like, there's various rooms that you can uh, happen to draw. So yes, indeed, there is probably more of a game here than you might have initially thought as well. It is vastly cleverer than me, and I am nowhere near smart enough to solve it all. If you think you are, link in the description below, ladies and gentlemen. I like these sorts of puzzle games, even if, you know, potentially I'm not always actually the best at them. So, maybe more puzzle games to come, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John, so has been many a true nerd, and this has been the really quite fiendishly difficult last will. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Eroticism. How important is it to have erotic or love scenes? It's a film about bakery. Very important. Okay, so Ben and Arthur just came on TV. That's Ben, and that's Arthur. <laughs> Dinner Date's a really good film. Aside from the bit where he eats her, that's arguably not as good.